Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? Hey, March the 12th, middle of the afternoon. I said yesterday that Thursdays, today, normally I take my father-in-law who's in a senior home, retirement center, um, out for breakfast. I did not do that this morning, but in the video that I did yesterday, I said that they've got a new policy for visitors at this facility, and I actually have it right here. And I want to read it to you. It's going to be a little long, but this is the official statement from the retirement center of which my in-laws have been at the last couple of years. The center's for disease control and prevention have recommended a variety of steps that, then it names the, the place where my in-laws are at, is implementing to help reduce the potential for the coronavirus to enter our building. In bold letters, at this time, we request that family and friends do not visit unless absolutely necessary. Out of an abundance of caution, we are limiting all visitors to our facility unless absolutely necessary. We are posting signs on our entryway doors to notify visitors of this policy and actively, and actively screening individuals, including staff, who need to come into the building. All visitors will be required to enter through the main door in order to ensure they are properly screened. Remember yesterday I said that there's two doors in the back, one for the assisted living and one for the independent living, and they've, they've changed the code numbers on those doors. Yeah, to help facilitate this process in bold letters, we will be changing the codes on all the doors. The new codes will be given to residents, but we ask that you do not share this information with friends or family at this time. Visitors will still be able to enter the main door without the code until five o'clock. So you could come and go up until five and then they basically lock the doors. We understand that connecting with your loved ones is incredibly important and there are a variety of other ways you might consider communicating with them telephone, email, text messages, video chat, or social media. Well, that's great, but if you're in the assisted living part of the retirement center, a lot of them don't have phones, don't know how to use their phones with text messages. What I almost said the, na the name of the place. So the staff will be delivering mail to your doorstep, so we ask that you do not come to the mail room. The mail room is just in the lobby off to one side and everybody comes and opens um, their little, you know, P.O. box. Wow. We also encourage residents not to congregate in the village center at this time. And they have asked that we keep the fire doors between the assisted living, wow, and independent living closed to limit people passing through the building. So when you walk in, the independent living's on your right, there's a set of doors, and the um, assisted living is to your right, and there's a set of doors. Wow. All outside trips have been canceled. They do weekly breakfasts, weekly shopping trips for the people that live there, wow. Sorry, this is getting a little, it's on. Residents, please help spread the word. Please help prevent the spread of infection by exercising proper hand washing hygiene as well as coughing and sneezing etiquette. We offer hand washing and alcohol-based hand sanitizer stations throughout the building, which you are welcome to use. Please also avoid shaking hands and hugging any individuals. Bold letters. If you are experiencing a cough, fever, sore throat, runny nose, 
and or shortness of breath, please let a staff member know immediately. Then it names the facility. So-and-so is following the recommendations of the CDC on pre prevention steps, including following strict hand-washing procedures. Wow. It's basically in lockdown. My mother-in-law got a little nervous. Like, you mean we can't go out because we normally take them out Sunday for lunch or brunch? Anyhow, tomorrow I'm going over there. I changed my breakfast from Thursday morning, which is was today, to Friday morning. I'm going to, I know all the, the, uh, the staff over there. I'm going to make sure that I see if I could do a video and, um... Yeah, let me know what you think. Does anybody out there have in-laws, friends, family, whatever, in retirement centers, and they're having strict procedures like my in-laws plays? Anyhow, let me know. CryptoMentor99, you know I love you. See you later. Bye-bye.